Pops. Said B throwing knife. Hokuto Carbine. This by itself, honestly, I could just play the game off these three items. Knife Dance and Lacerating Aura. As far as mutations go, there's only one mutation choice, and that's No Mercy. See, again, you know, it's, it's a real mutation. Tier S is what we call it. Today we're playing Red Samurai. That's what? Kenshin. Veroni Kenshin. For all my anime boomers in the chat. Who remember Veroni Kenshin? Yo, whoever did that prediction, thank you. If it was Blaze. Shoutouts to Blaze. Uh, new mod. The only problem with uh, throwing builds like this is when you don't kill monsters like Inquisitors, you could get hit. So that's where the No Mercy helps. What are these stars? Increase move speed? They both increase move speed. Hades, for those who don't uh, remember that game, where you can get Hermes stuff that actually increases your damage based off your move speed. And I would kind of love to see something like that. Yeah, see? No ammo. But once we get no mercy, it'll be a non-factor. Wow. That looked kind of weird. Hope Hades gets some updates. Uh, me too, to be honest. Would love to see updates. Do I think the game is, like, unplayable? No. Hey everybody, just a super quick interruption. According to YouTube, only about a third of you are actually subscribed. If you do like this video, consider subscribing. And of course, you can always unsubscribe later. Either way, enjoy the rest of the vid. I can happily say that that's a game where I could easily turn it on at any point. And probably have fun with it. People do play Hades though. Um, especially from the uh, speedrun standpoint. It almost makes me wonder, like, is it time for us to try a couple speed runs of Dead Cells? Like, speed run to 5 BC, I actually think is a really cool speed run. So, some of the people that we watch for Hades do both. They do regular games. Gonna break this. And they do the speed runs. So the idea is, is we have to make the speed run fun for the average viewer. Content wise, I know, well, I hope I have an idea of what you all want to see. And the first thing we're going to get is the no mercy, the execute. 15%. This doesn't have scaling to it anymore. You can just take it right away and it's still really good. Um, I do get a little worried when it comes to uh, taking extended breaks on stream. The gamer in me doesn't want to just take a break. Only issue is now, like, there's momentum. There's a possibility that me going AFK for five minutes could result in a loss. Because now I don't remember how to play. Yeah, so basically, this build right here... Oh, that box. That was sick. All we're doing is we're adding the dot and then we run away. And everything should die. Like, there's nothing that survives this, I think. Famous last words. Is this a good bill for networking? So my initial thought is that networking might be a little unnecessary because i think everything will die from alchemic carbine just gonna swap now i think it's okay yeah as long as i apply something it's gonna die to execute like the time for me to actually get to the next monster and shoot it i i don't think it's gonna happen now if i put carbine in the backpack and hokuto in the front Maybe networking would be good there. And hey, we could still try it. There's absolutely no reason for us not to try.
so like how he did that all i did was um carbine every monster if the carbine was in the backpack then i would do the hokuto one time and then just throwing knife everything else what i also like about this build is i feel like it's really mechanical like i'm doing a lot of this kind of stuff and when it works it it works okay flaming trail burning oil damage bleeding damage if you look at my malaise i have no malaise right now and that's how fast this thing operates all no hit easy clap okay acrobatic pack now this is where it gets a little tough it's trying to decide what do you want in the backpack you want the hokuto or do you want the carbine wow don't shoot that open by the way that's really dangerous how long does it take before they put this on console unfortunately we don't know um i would love to see it soon because we happen to um happen to get it on steam really quickly but i i don't know anything Moral of the story, V knows nothing when it comes to, uh, updates. Okay, so let's see how this feels for a little bit. With Hokuto in the backpack. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking I want Carbine in the backpack. Because it's kind of annoying to Carbine every monster. And Hokuto is like just one button press and maybe I don't have to do it again. Let's try it. See what happens. It took a long time for the Katana update, but that was like... That was during COVID and stuff like that. And I know COVID's still going on. Oops. But perhaps the um, timing is a little better now. Maybe. Yeah, Hokuto's much faster than Carbine. For whoever asked that. Did I try dual binding this? I wouldn't do it with carbine. Because there's some delay to that. But I think Hokuto is probably okay. HP damage. I guess I'll take that. Just for now. Maybe help move the needle a little bit damage wise. Ideally we want like the bleed propagation. Like bleed everywhere. Someone did ask to see networking. So we're going to try networking. I kind of want to go Hunter's Instinct instead. But because we're doing the carbine in the backpack i think networking might do something but we'll find out together yeah imagine if the new malaise spawned golems see i don't know if i like the other shot coming out but maybe it's okay don't let that transform Okay, let me know if let me know if execute does anything I think it did die Susie's shopping at Walmart yeah I saw Susie when I picked up uh, monster hunter Susie was saying don't buy that you're never gonna play it <laughs> it's gonna stay wrapped for the rest of your life and now it's like that's toxic Apparently I aggro. Monster isn't allowed to play the game. Networking doesn't seem to help. And again, like, I'm more than happy to try it. Because, you know, best case scenario, it's legit. So yeah, keep the suggestions coming. Invisible. Oh, I saw that worm at the last second. That worm, tentacle. Barb tips would be better than networking in this build. It would certainly make the bosses easier. 
my I want to go with Hunter's Instinct. But you all are saying V, use the next level stuff before it's banned. Hunter's Instinct, that's a boomer mutation. We don't use that anymore. All the Dead Cells TikTokers use barb tips. Uh, oh, my bad. I, I had no idea. Oh, that's a toughie. I honestly think you take the bleed propagation. I mean, it's higher level anyway, so you probably just take it no matter what. But when you're using Hokuto bow, that's going to move the needle a little bit. 120 monsters executed. No challenge rifts, by the way. We're going to have no stats at the end of this. I hope you all realize. Uh, so we see, we see this again. It's higher level, so we do take it. Wow, I'm going to lose a lot of money here. Flaming Trail, bonus damage to burning target. That's really funny. You think Toxic Cloud would be better than Knife Aura? If you mean Corrosive Cloud as an item, I do prefer Knife Dance over Corrosive Cloud. Barb Tips, Acro Batty Pack, No Mercy. All right, boss time for Malaise. This is a boss right here. This is a, one of the ones where you might think, how do I get the no hit on this? This one's a little tougher. Didn't get my... Wow, I cannot get up there. Next phase? I was about to say. I don't really want to participate in that. Alright, one more. I mean, I guess when you run out of ammo with the Hokuto, it's not that bad. Shooting the Hokuto first. That was kind of bad. Ooh. Ooh. I'm missing my poison. That was a little spicy. No hits in 2021. You all thought it wasn't possible to get the no hits anymore. I'm gonna go graveyard instead. Graveyard's nice because it has all of the um the rats and inquisitors. It's really good for the extendo bleed, the bleed propagation. Hokuto. Flaming Trail. We take it either way. And the one that does poison on hit is like the best one. But we already have Carbine. So do we need more poison on hit? I hope not. If I feel like we need it, we'll swap in. Speeding. That's how you die though. When you're playing Dead Cells, there's always a way to die. The pops. A build like this, you probably go giant. Just to say that. But, you know, we always think about Scarecrow. And I don't know if Scarecrow's on the list or not. We're gonna go all green. Even though that doesn't help my barb tips damage. Oh no, it... That doesn't matter. Sorry, forget I uh, was saying anything. You ain't played Dead Cells in a hot minute. You can live vicariously through uh, through me. I love the idea of this game. Honestly, Monster Hunter Rise was that. I love the idea of this game. I don't want to pay for it. I will watch people play it. That didn't last. I know some people do cool stuff like uh, Monster Hunter clan fights with twitch chat everyone's welcome to join you might be busted or something i don't know actually i wanted to do a um a mimi 
I wanted to do the uh, the John Travolta from I think that's Kill Bill, right? When he's like looking around the room, not Kill Bill. What's the name of the movie? Pulp Fiction. I wanted to do that with like Monster Hunter in the background. It would be like you loading up Monster Hunter a week after everyone else has already had the game. And like, I almost for sure think that's what's gonna be when I actually play. Not going cavern, I'm not because I have like a lot of wave clear. Like obviously there's curse here and the curse is pretty bad, but because I have wave clear, I can clear like whole hallways without a lot of work. I think set poker is the right choice. And I guess there's no such thing as a wrong choice here. It's just why I ended up going. I better not get shot going into this. You would go cavern, but I didn't play this. But the idea that the viewer submits a build that they haven't played. They're just like, I, I'm i pretty sure this is good. I think you're going to like it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I didn't test it. That's fine. I'm okay with it. Yo, look at the executes. Wow. NA aim. Um, as far as nerfing barb tips, obviously there's a bug with the spoiler boss. So we don't want to count that as like the way to nerf it. If you think about it, on a boss, putting in 10 bullets, running out of ammo, and you're still dealing your DPS, if not more, if you have a weapon with more than 10 bullets. Like that's strong. I think the only thing they could do is straight up nerf the damage. Probably cut it in half. So it's like 20 bullets to equal my DPS. Which is still like half my DPS in 10 bullets. For basically free. For just landing the hits. This man hasn't gotten hit. Let me go get hit for you. Now there were some questions. Like OV, oh, would you ever think the devs should nerf dual binding part of me thinks that it's accessibility you could do the same thing with square and triangle together it's just less button presses so from an accessibility standpoint i kind of think it should stay like there's people with all kinds of different reasons why they don't want to spam both square and triangle it's not just a gameplay thing it's also like a physical thing i just think throwing weapons are really good right now find a way to nerf throwing weapons without making them useless. Okay, we're actually going to take the Lacerator. Burning oil damage. We just reroll it. Real thing would be poison damage. If I get poison and bleeding, then scripted run. Is V even playing the game? Show the controller. Poison damage. I'm okay with that. Uh, I would normally take networking here, but we're going to try without networking to see if execute works okay I got kind of scared there see so that right there that was not super impressive That looked better. I want to get on my side. I hate being on this side of the arena. Execute. It works. I think it worked on both the fist and the eyeball. If I wanted to buff my uh, off stats a little more. Yeah, we can get a stronger legendary Hokuto. If I go high peak. Trying to see that busted Hokuto. Busted legendaries. Makes the victim bleed lacerator. And look at the damage. Because it's legendary, it actually does a lot more. How much damage does the bleeding do? I think it scales off your base stats, no matter what. 
Um, and that's only if the weapon itself doesn't cause the bleed. Maybe corrupted power, where when it like ends, the monsters around you bleed. I think that's based off your base stats. Honestly, the thing on this map that can kill us is that lieutenant monster, whatever it is. I think you all called it Guardian or something. The fate, that thing down there. That could end the run like right now. Royal Guard. For some reason, I never remember that name. Not to say it's forgettable. Because like as a former Ragnarok Online no-lifer. Who's made like probably 10 Royal Guards on different private servers. I should probably remember the name Royal Guard and I just don't. Yo, everything can kill everything. Like no matter what button I press, the monster is dead. But this is, uh, this is wild. Please no aggro, it did aggro. Oh, my... All right, rip run. It's over. <laughs> Reported nine times this streamer. Um, so like the only thing I would say is clock tower. Okay, so we're not getting no hit on this map. So apparently I am uh, unaware how to fight a royal guard. Tier S enemy. Okay, so we're up to 30. The same number we would have gotten if we skipped um, this map. But instead of skipping, we decided to get some more survival. Because survival is increasing the damage of my legendaries. I'm going to greed. Okay, that's fine. I want to see if we can get the bleeding causes poisoning back. But I'll take poison damage. The only mecha you know is Evangelion. Just to say this, and I would, you know, turn in my weeb card. I don't mind exposing myself as a fraud. I did not watch Evangelion besides like three episodes. Possible top three tactics right now. Counterfeit weave card? I don't mind. Take it. What am I gonna do with it? Why am I facing the wrong way? Flotate? Oh, I ran out of disc space. Okay, after Hand of the King, we're gonna have to take another break. Ooh! Executed! Didn't even get to play the game! He did what, like four attacks before he called it quits? He's like, I'm out. This dude got way too many viewer builds right now. I'm not coming back until the viewer builds stop. Is what Hand of the King just said. Royal Guard hit me more than Hand of the King. Double Lacerator. But I'm not confident that that's like as good as you might think it is. Because like the one on the right does the bleed. Technically, if they both bleed, I think that's fine too. Okay. Double bleeding auras. So remember, the bleed, when you get enough bleed, the enemy pops. So maybe that's a way to like grind up the monster. Am I going to use Tranquilo? Probably not. I think you all said that Execute does nothing. And not to say that I don't believe chat. I'm just like positive I don't have footage of what it does. And maybe if it has been reported, the devs might be like, oh, we need... We need our official tester, V.me, the one that dies like every other night because something new happens. We need that guy. Ooh. That was clean. I actually thought that thing would be untargetable that whole time. Flotation. They float. Every librarian floats. No, that's not a librarian. That's a, a death magistrate. Surely a death magistrate floats. 
Is dual buying a requirement for this? No. In all honesty, I actually... I'm on the fence if I even like the dual bind here. Reason why is I keep shooting the Hokuto. Um, if you have more than two bullets, you end up firing Hokuto shots when you don't even need it. But if you only have the two bullets, then yeah, go for it. Absolutely. I still wouldn't say it's a requirement, though. Nothing floats while we're around. When you get weapons like this, viewer builds, there's no more float. Why more green? Um, that is an excellent question. So Zed, they actually buffed legendaries. On update 23, they buffed it so that it increases based off of both the highest numbers. So it's actually 40 stats worth, which is kind of massive, especially for the lacerators. I don't even know what to call this. Like, do you call it dot build? I feel like dot build is not the whole story. It's the barb tips too. And the no mercy. The Levi build. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we want to replace the throwing knife. Poison damage. So that's already better. I was also thinking about doing a VOD channel. So I have almost like 90% of my footage saved on like three different hard drives. V.VODs. VODs.me. What, what's, what's it gonna be? You did spoiler done? Oh, Barnacle. Can we get an exclamation point EZ for Barney? Coming through with the spoiler boss. I'm about to do the spoiler myself. I'm trying to be like you, big homie. This fight honestly shouldn't be more than a minute. Boss time. Let's do it to it. I see do it. I see good lucks. Can I get a boy? Can I get a heart? Can I get the medicine? You voted the wrong one. Oh no. Hey, you never know. This is a hard no hit right here. Gonna climb. That's a really good way to make sure you escape. Ah, uh, that was wasted. Crap. It'll be back. I don't think he's gonna drink. Oh, he, he drunk? He drank? There's the execute. I don't quite know if that's... Again, that is busted. It's broken. You all are welcome to delete it. I mean, report it. That's Barb Tips. Nothing else does that. So I, I don't know. I can't call it. Without me or nothing. If Barb Tips was fixed, I don't think that would change very much. I think he still melts no matter what. The only difference is you have to go through all the phases. Wow. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what to call that build. I think it's literally gonna be... I ran out of names. Just use this build. I, that's the best I could do. And I think that's click worthy. You're looking, you're scrolling through YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And you get this thumbnail where it says, stop scrolling, just play this build. I, I think that's something. Just, just to say that. <laughs> uh, but we got to rate the build. You all have to let me know. I, I just piloted. I don't know the ratings. I'm not the referee. Marcus is the referee because Marcus is the one who submitted the build. You all have to let me know. Zero out of ten. Zero being that this build, like Zed is saying, that's a clickbait title. All day, every day. You are actually going to get banned on YouTube if you use that title. Or ten out of ten where it's like, okay. I mean, clickbait or not, I clicked it and now my mind's blown. So I got to go with it.